She was a swimming and academic All-American, leaving South Lane East High School with a half dozen records. Casey Van Buskirk loved the sport so much she became a coach for her former swim team. The young woman died suddenly over the weekend. And as Priya Mann explains, she was a tour de force in and out of the pool. Casey Van Buskirk married the love of her life just in August. She coached swim, he coached baseball. They were a match made in heaven. And then heaven came calling for Coach Casey far too soon. Although she's gone, I will always, always be so proud of her. In just 27 short years, Casey Van Buskirk inspired a generation of swimmers. First as a record-breaking award-winning athlete for the South Line East Cougars, and then as assistant coach for her high school swim team. It's overwhelming to know how many people that she impacted so strongly, and especially those young girls. I mean, she was a role model to them. I've gotten emails and phone calls from old coaches that said she was a role model to us. And Coach Casey had her own style. Casey was a woman of few words. She told them in a short version of what needed to be done, and, and they did it. On Saturday, Casey and her husband, Clay, spent the evening with Casey's parents. We had pizza and fun and laughs, and she wrapped herself in the blanket and laid on the couch like she always did. and. And she went home and we got the phone call at 1140. Clay told him he woke up to find Casey had fallen out of bed. Their vibrant, healthy girl was gone. I can honestly say that I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. I wouldn't. It's heartbreaking. What's giving them immense comfort and courage is the outpouring of love. That memorial at the high school has meant more to us than anyone will understand. It's so heartwarming. I went up to the memorial at the high school today and just sat out there. It, it's comfortable to me. I feel with her there. Casey Strong lives on through a memorial scholarship fund her family's creating to support future generations of swimmers. We want her memory to live on forever. She deserves it. And we don't want her to be forgotten in our community. She was special. In South Lyon, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Got the feeling she will live on in that community. We are told uh, she did not die from COVID-19, by the way. Doctors believe she may have had an issue with her heart that yeah. went undetected. The family is planning a vigil and memorial service in the coming weeks.